So hi again. Today we're going to be talking about NAND gates and how we can use them to basically simplify circuits into only using one type of gate. This is very important because when you're implementing this in real life, if you can use an IC chip that only has NAND gates, then it's going to be a lot more practical to implement the output. So let's try to first understand what the NAND gate is. As you can see, it's just a regular AND gate with the NOT addition to it. I have the truth table right here where you can see that F is going to be a 1 when every time that A and B are not on. So this is basically just the inverse of the AND gate. We're going to say that whenever the AND is a 1, the NAND will become a zero and the other way around. So this is very, very helpful to remember. Now that we know this, we can go on to look at the sum of products for a circuit and see how we can convert that into a NAND gate. So I brought this example of these values so that we can further demonstrate the example, it's good to practice as much as you can for these problems so that you make less and less mistakes. It's something that you definitely want to build on every time and it's kind of a foundation that will never leave. So it's really good to, you know, have as much practice as you can. So let's do what we were doing last two videos. We're going to look for all the ones. And once we have all the ones, what we're going to do is going to list the terms. As I said in my previous video, I'm going to use sum of products. It's what I feel most comfortable with. You can use product of sums, but you know, sum of products is more commonly used. And here we see that the first term is going to be A naught, B naught, C naught. And we're going to go on with the other terms, just like we did in the last two videos. Okay, so these are our terms. We have four terms, which is the amount of one, so that should be okay, as long as we didn't mix up the variables that compose the terms. So now for our function, I'm going to define it and add all of these terms with an, a single gate of OR with multiple inputs. It's going to have four inputs. So now that we have our function, we're going to continue to draw these circuits just like we learned to do in the last video. I'm going to move the function so that we have more space. So we're going to do the same kind of process. We're going to draw an OR gate. We're going to put the lines for the variables. And then we're going to draw the complements. Okay, so once we have this, well, yeah, this case, I am drawing the AND gates after I drew the variables. You can do it either way. Um, so I'm just going to draw the AND gates now. One, two, and connect them to the OR. Okay, so now we're going to start connecting the variables to their terms. So we're going to connect A0, B0, and C0 to the first term. So we're going to do a dot at A0 and connect it to the AND. Same with B naught. Same goes for A naught, B and C. And then I'll do the last two. Okay, and this is our output F. So this is the circuit that we will use to create a NAND gate. So now I like to explain this process through the circuit because it's better to visualize but we're basically going to use De Morgan's theorem, which I cover in a previous video, to create a NAND from that OR gate. And then, in order to maintain the actual value and the actual output, we're going to invert the other ANDs. So let's just visualize this this way. If I have a cable and I invert the input, just like I do for A and B, and then I invert it again, what I'm left with is A. Here, in, for a brief second, it's A naught. So this is basically what we're going to do. If you want to relate it to 
Boolean algebra, it's going to be a not not just equals a. So we're going to use this property and De Morgan's property that an or an or of inverted inputs is going to equal an NAND of regular inputs. So we're going to use these two properties to make this circuit only use NAND gates. So this is how we're going to do it. The first thing that we want to do is invert all of these AND terms. We're going to invert the output. So we're going to put a little circle here to symbolize the input so that all of these become NANDs which is, we're already halfway there, that's mostly our goal, we just don't want to change the output. So what are we going to do? We're going to use this property right here, and we're going to invert it as it goes into the OR. So again, we're going to put a little circle to the inputs to symbolize that inverse. So again, this does not change the actual value because we are doing an inverse of an inverse. So now that we have an OR with inverted inputs, we can use De Morgan's theorem to make it into a NAND gate. So let me, j I'm going to erase this, but I would write it down just to remember. So this will become with all the regular inputs. And that's basically how you do it. That's basically how you convert a sum of products into a NAND circuit. So let me just put this NAND gate into the circuit. And that's basically it. You need to remember to always invert both ways so that the output doesn't change. And once the output is okay, then we can convert that OR gate into a NAND gate. And you're, you end up with this really nice circuit which only uses NANDs. And this way you can implement it using one type of IC chip. So I hope that was helpful and very clear. I'll see you for next time.